So who have you been talking to? It was Paddy, actually. Should have had a lie in. No, I, I couldn't. Um, my mum was working overtime. All the things I've got to sort out in between flashbacks of yesterday. You always said your mum was a shocker for attracting drama. <laughs> We're going to need to talk about what happens next. Where I'm going to live for starters. Well, there's no mad rush, is there? I will sort something. At least we know nobody's going to get nasty. We're not going to rip each other rough, are we? Yeah, there is that. We need to tell Arthur in April, don't we? I swear, I don't know how people do this. I mean, we're the ones who are meant to protect them from stuff, aren't we? As long as they both know that we're still there for them, we'll get through this, I promise. Fuck. Why don't we get our heads around this first? We can tell them tomorrow. Yeah. It's a good idea. Thanks. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Well, apart from the singing, all the way there and all the way back. Ah, I love a bit of karaoke, <laughs> me. <laughs> Looks bigger, this place, from the outside. Shall I put the kettle on, then? Oh, no, look, uh, Tracy, wh wh why didn't you get off? I I'm very, very grateful for the lift. Oh, don't worry for me. And here is it. <laughs> Listen, maybe i better go to uh, give you and Marlon some space in the circumstances. What, even when he's at work? No, stay. We've got to toast your meeting with the bishop. Because it went really well, didn't it? Well, at least I'm under no pressure to get back to work until I'm ready. Mm. He really values you, and rightly so. Well, I was going to make us a brew, but then I saw this knocking about in the drawer. Don't suppose you've got a cheeky bottle to go with it, have you? <sighs> right. <laughs> no, of course you wouldn't. <laughs> so I was... Well, no worries. I'll... I oh, saw so some bickies we can have instead. Make yourself at home, Tracy. Oh. You did nice, you two, aren't you? I've had a laugh today. Well, when I say a laugh, I mean, it's better than changing manky bed sheets. Compliment indeed. I haven't driven for ages either. It's made me want to take my test, I reckon. What do you mean, take your test? Well, I've never been able to afford it. You're proper skanky, you know. Tracy, you lied. You said you could drive. I can drive. Apart from it, you don't get to decide that. A driving test does, and it's the law. Oh, well, it's not my fault the law's so nitpicky. <laughs> well, it's like that guy I hired to drive Jimmy's trucks. I mean, how was I supposed to know that he was here illegally? What if we'd had an accident? What then? Oh, well, we're back in one piece, aren't we? <sighs> Besides, it doesn't sound like you two would be any safer on the road, but we are... Problems. <laughs> I mean, she's right, isn't she? I mean, look at the three of us. An epileptic, an alcoholic and a pathological liar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is some real bad luck right here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you two are a bit weird. Go through, I'll make the tea. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> 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 it's, it's probably best that you don't say anything to Marlon about Tracy using his car. Yeah, perhaps not, yeah. I have to say, I'm proud of you. The way you're handling things with Marlon. Well, it makes it easier knowing that I've got friends around me. 